What's up, peeps? So I was just chilling in the bed or whatever, you know, listening to a few podcasts, checking around, buying some things on Amazon. You guys know how it is. So I was bored and I was thinking about doing a video as well. You know, I'm going across my timeline. Then I see I love McConan coming out as gay. Yeah. So if you guys have no idea who he is, he's a dude from OVO. He was like one of the first artists that Drake signed to OVO. He's the Tuesday dude. Great song, and I love some of his past music that he has as well. I mean, I think he makes some good music. He's been slowing down a little bit, but he made some good stuff in the past. So this is what he said on Twitter. He goes, and since y'all love breaking news, here's some old news to break. I'm gay. And now I've told you about my life. Maybe you can go live yours. Sure, he meant that. As a fashion icon, I can't tell you about anyone else's closet. I can only tell you about mine. And it's time I've come out. Someone said to me, next time they see me, they gon' fuck me. I said, next time I see me, I'm gonna love me up. Okay, now, this is how I feel about this, man, because this is the first open gay rapper in hip hop. First, first of its kind. Now, there's been a bunch of rumors of gay rappers and hip hop. I mean, I see people talk about this stuff on radio shows. They talk about people being gay in hip hop, but they never come out and say their names. Now, we're going to touch on this a little bit later, but let's talk about McConan. I'm looking at comments from people. And to be honest, a lot of people weren't surprised. They were like, yo, man, we knew this. Thanks for coming out. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like people were happy. That the guy came out. Of course, you had some people like blasting him for being gay. I mean, people are going to do that, right? But from what I've seen, people were just saying, look, dog, we knew you were gay. We knew it. I never thought the guy was gay. Never thought that at all. And I would always see other rappers calling him weird, right? Even Troy Ave had a situation with him, right? And someone from Troy Ave's crew, I think they punched McConan. They punched him. Troy, I've called him a weirdo. So all that happened, right? And I would see his interviews and, you know, he was quiet. He seemed like he really wasn't himself. And it seemed like the whole time he was doing these interviews, he was trying to be someone else. And I think that's why he came off as weird. Maybe he is weird because at the end of the day, there's a little weird in all of us. Like we all may think that we're like we're this hilarious person. Sometimes that's just us laughing at our own jokes and no one else is laughing at that shit. So I'm happy this dude is finally living his life and being himself. Now let's talk about other gay people in hip hop. I think there's a few other gay people in hip hop and we, we just don't know it. You know, I know some of you guys are gonna be out there naming Drake and this and that. Maybe, man. Maybe. But I really think there's some other gay rappers out there and we just don't know. Now, what's amazing is that this guy was able to live his life without anyone getting a picture of him kissing another guy or him showing like any crazy affection towards another guy. And that must have been horrible for this dude to be out in public and not be himself. Because like I told you guys in interviews, People always got the impression that he was weird. And I felt the guy was suppressing who he really was. Like I listen to him now and he's more vibrant. He's sassier. (laughs) And I usually don't use that word for a guy, but you know, he's gay. So we'll use the word sassy. And when he first came into the game, he was this person that was, you know, pretending to, uh, He was this person that seemed like he was pretending to be like Mr. Nice Guy. You get what I'm saying here? Another thing about this dude, before he got into rap, he was someone that was in cosmetology. Maybe that's the word. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure I'm saying it correctly. But basically, he did hair. Now, I don't know too many straight guys that do hair. But that should have been a dead giveaway for a lot of us in hip hop, man. Like, oh, you do hair? Okay, yeah, okay. We we looking at you like a suspected gay person. And look, you know, look, man, there's nothing wrong with being gay. Like I said, I'm happy the guys came out of the closet. Uh good luck to you, McConan. Good luck to you, man. 
Anyway, this is Diamonds Live. You guys have a great day, and I'm out. Not out the closet.